Now, before I tell you what I liked about this episode of The Flash, let me tell you what I didn't like about it. The exposition. There was too much exposition, which not only slowed down its pace, but also gave this story a somewhat strange, rushed quality, almost as if it had to be finished right now in one last chunk. This included things like an explanation about Harley's new job at Terrific Tech, the West updating everyone about their current family setup, the mayor's rhetoric about quarantining the city, as well as a number of other scenarios that sometimes felt rather heavy handed and unneeded due to the lengthy pieces of text conveyed in each scene, especially for a comic book that's more about fun and family instead of prose and procrastination. Another good example of this can be seen at the end of the book when Wally talks to, well, to avoid spoilers, let's say everyone about some of the arduous events he's had to face within recent years. Except for the events depicted in Heroes in Crisis, thank God, which I'm happy to say was totally ignored as it would have turned this book into a therapy session, not a rushed conclusion, which in essence is exactly what it was. I didn't like the way Wally was treated in this issue either, as he sometimes came across as a subservient, dim-witted <coughs> husband who by his own accord had to be saved two times. First, at the start of the book, when he was overpowered by the rogues and saved by Hartley, and then at the end of it, when Hartley and his family had to save him once again as he was overpowered by Wolf and his crew. Saying so, while keeping in mind that Wally is a far more experienced hero than any of his so-called saviors, and seemingly walked into each situation uncharacteristically unprepared. Having said that though, I did like the artwork depicted in this issue as it was bold, expressive and very easy to follow. At one point, I thought I was reading a book illustrated by one of my favourite artists, Kevin Maguire, who back in the day illustrated the main Justice League title. I also have to applaud the way in which this adventure managed to PARTIAL SPOILER ALERT amalgamate the previous general storyline into this one as well as the way it tried to do something new with its cast of characters. After all, can Wally trust Wolf and the rogues now that they've seemingly turned over a new leaf? And if he can't, what will Wally do next as he still has to think about the safety of his family as well as the city he continues to protect? 